Welcome, welcome out there. It's Justin Brengia and Rosebud Kincaid. Welcome to Esoteric Cosmos, the live show. This is an interactive show, so if you do have questions, please hold them and jot, that, uh, jot them down until the end of the show. And towards the end, we'd like to do some Q&A. And if you do have any questions out there, we'd you know, be more than glad to answer them to the best of our abilities. Um, we don't have all the answers. We, you know, discuss, you know, some of the, the biggest leaders in the esoteric realms and kind of their work. Um, you know, so this is kind of like an intelligent discussion. I know a lot of people leaving comments and, you know, some comments are negative, some comments are positive, but realize, um, you know, we do want to hear your feedback, whatever it is you do believe or whatever your opinions are, because we're just you know, studying and researching the experts, and then we're, you know, putting our uh, two thoughts into things so we could open up the discussion. So if you want to join us, you know, feel free to do so. Um, today I wanted to tribute, um, you know, the show to uh, a great patriot by the name of William Cooper. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure that name probably rings a bell to a lot of people watching this are going to be watching the recorded videos. Uh, William Cooper, um, he hosted a radio show, um, I think it was called Short Wave, um, and basically did this, you know, out of his own time. He didn't even uh, get paid to do so, but he did this because he believed in, you know, basically spreading the truth. He was actually in the military, in the Navy, right? Um, and he was privy to certain knowledge being a part, you know, compartmentalized knowledge that they share with him. And he has an incredible story. I think he's seen a, a disc or UFO come out of the water and separate all the water molecules apart from the disc. And this rose his attention and got him searching, you know, secret documents. And the thing I like about William Cooper or Bill Cooper is his intelligence. I don't see that much nowadays from a lot of you know speakers or people that are teaching you know about the truth uh, about how things really work he's one of the guys who documented everything he said he didn't you know spread rumors or nothing like that and had a very intelligent way of knowing the enemy as he would call it uh, but before we even get into William Cooper I just want to share some experience this morning um, you know got up went with my girlfriend to go to the bank, but right when we were leaving our subdivision here, there was like five police officers just standing there. And they were actually, you know, I'm like, are they looking for speeders? But not a lot of people speed, you know, I was going way under the speed limit, so we were cool. But they signaled for me to pull over, and I'm like, what the heck is this? And come to find out, they're ticketing people for not wearing seatbelts. Now, fortunately, D, my girlfriend, was wearing a seatbelt, I was wearing a seatbelt. I just happened to put the shoulder strap under my arm because to me it's very uncomfortable driving to being able to maneuver uh, with that shoulder strap. I feel constrained and sometimes the thing locks up. I just honestly feels more safe for me to drive without it. But anyways, cops pull us over and they say, you know, you weren't wearing your seatbelt over your shoulder the proper way. And I explained to him and then it went on and on, on and on, on and on. Long story short, we did not get a ticket, but they very well could have for you know whatever reason they choose to give me one, but he was nice enough not to, and I guess had enough understanding. But I want to point out the significance of why this is so important, why I'm even talking to you about it. Why are cops targeting people for seatbelts? You think they'd be targeting speeders or doing something productive? I mean, five police officers sitting looking for people that don't have the strap over their shoulder. This is taking away from our freedom. What it does do, this is the intelligence behind this whole movement, it allows them to pull you over for any reason. They don't need a legit reason to pull you over no more. They'll just say, we didn't see your seatbelt. Even if you were wearing the seatbelt, we did not see your seatbelt. This is, you know, in my opinion, it's you know taken away from our rights. It's just one step closer. Do you have any thoughts or... Well, uh, since I know the subdivision pretty well, it, um, there's speed traps around here also. They just mm -hmm. happen to be targeting the seatbelt thing today. And yes, there'll be a cluster of uh, police officers, you know, uh, here we are, you know, our uh, community uh, is, you know, the tax base and we have to pay our police officers and they're wonderful human beings, they're just doing the job. 
but uh, uh, obviously um, it goes from uh, 55 miles an hour and then where my subdivision is it drops down to 45 and goes to 55 and it does this all along this road and so they strategically uh, place themselves certain times uh, one side of the road or the other and there'll be a massive police amount of police uh, just pulling people over and I think it is so they can raise money by ticketing people and I just think you know uh, if you're going 45 to 55 I really pay attention because I got ticketed twice uh, when I first moved here but um, uh, I just think that uh, it's not a service to the community if you're going on you know uh, unusually fast and dangerous driving of course you know we don't want those kind of people on the road but a seat belt uh, all that it's right. just a lot of bullshit little things to pull you over to uh, uh, have access to uh, your records to look over your records and sometimes they don't even treat you that nice I mean one guy I called him the Taliban you know <laughs> I, I felt like I was going four miles over the speed limit and it was unjustified to chew me out uh, the way he did but just think it's a uh, we're in Florida and it's a hundred and something degrees out there and they have to stand out there and pull people over and obviously you know it doesn't make right. a, a job a happy job or a happy uh, right and nothing against the police officers whatsoever I know they're doing their job they don't really know what they're doing to begin with but once you start to really understand the system and how it works to me it is total bullshit to be able to pull someone over for not wearing a seat belt uh, because they can just say you're not wearing it and still pull you over. It's just a, a reason to pull you over. See, I have no issue if they pulled somebody over for speeding, something like that, but the seatbelt issue, I could just see right through it. Yes, and, and we have a lot of crime in different areas over here. A lot of we shit. We need going on. them to work on the crime, uh, and that's the service I would expect for the right. community, instead of just uh, uh, giving out tickets that will uh, raise our insurance rates, that right. we have to pay money that we don't have right. to give back to, right. you know, I feel like it's like a witch hunt, you know, and it's uh, our society, it's just the way the ego works, it's just an example of that. So I didn't know that, I should have told you, we're in the middle of a speed trap right here, and today they're looking at uh, um, seatbelts. <laughs> right, and that's our tax dollars, so we're paying for them to pull us over because we may not be wearing a seatbelt. I don't like that, so I just thought I'd bring that up. I want to hear your opinions on it, too. Please do comment. Tell us what you think, if you have any experience, because I like to know what's going on all around the world. Um, I do have a poll um, below on this page, um, and I would like everyone to participate. It's what do you think will happen come 2012. Some people, you know, uh, don't think nothing will happen. Please place your opinion. Um, there's multiple choice, all different options to 